There's always plenty of new buildings going on. <laughs> I'm just honored to be back with you today. I'm going to tell you another good, funny, true story here in a minute when we talk about the, uh, the building that uh, we're here to sign uh, legislation as a part of the budget package. Um, and I'll tell you a story that happened the last time I was down here in just a few minutes. But I'd like to give you a little bit of an overview of what has happened during this last legislative session and sort of where we are as a state. First of all, we've had great cooperation. Uh, if you've noticed, on many very important pieces of legislation, we have had unanimous votes or almost unanimous votes. That is unheard of. And I think it goes to the fact that we have people who are working, talking to each other, and recognizing that there are issues that are important to all Georgians. And those issues transcend political party differences. Because if you're really working to help the citizens of the state of Georgia, then political parties don't always define where you should come down. And that's going to be true on major issues that I'm going to mention to you here in just a minute. But first of all, uh, some good news on the financial front. This was an extremely short session. And it was a short session, and that saves you money. Uh, they got through very quickly. Now, what you don't know is I gave them an incentive to get through quickly. We rented out the Capitol for a movie. And literally, within a few hours of the time they adjourned at midnight on that 40th day, there was a television crew in the Capitol transforming it into something that's going to be a television series, I'm told, uh, called Revolution. And it was uh, designed to be a story set 20 years in the future after Armageddon. And you can imagine what they made that building look like. Apparently it was supposed to be a big library or something that uh, after Armageddon it just looked awful. I mean, it was terrible. Uh, the area between, if you're familiar with the governor's office, the area between uh, where you go in the governor's office and right across the little area there is the Secretary of State's office, and that's where the visitor's booth is located. They turned that into a, uh, a bar 20 years after <laughs> now in Armageddon. And they had a still set up in there. I said, this looks like something out of the Moonshine Museum in Dawson County. Uh, so we made you money by getting Bruce through early and by renting the capital out. And they paid the state of Georgia uh, some very uh, important fees to be able to do that. And hopefully it's another one of those things we're doing in the state of Georgia, and that is to encourage the movie and the film industry uh, to come to our state because they provide revenue, they provide opportunities to expose the rest of the world, literally, to all the assets of the state of Georgia. Now, I hope they don't all think that it looks like what's going to be in that movie. <laughs> they probably wouldn't come if that was the case. But it is a, a growing industry in our state, and one that is providing jobs and providing revenue. 